everyone, so today I'm going to be doing just a random lip balm haul. Uh, this haul is from Claire's and Five Below. And yeah, I know my hair looks really bad. I slept in braids last night and wore braids all day today to try and make my hair like curly, but it didn't work. So let's just get right into this. So first I'm going to start with these two baby lips. I went to Five Below today, actually, and they had one of each of these. Like, they weren't even supposed to be there. They were just kind of there. They, at my Five Below, I've only seen the Electros, and they had a whole thing of Electros, and then these two. And I was like, okay, getting them now, $2 each. At, like, my local drugstores, they're, like, about 4 or four fifty each. So I'm like, yes. So I got Coral Crush, which says limited edition on it. And I got Yummy Plummy, which doesn't say limited edition, but I've never seen this one before. So let's crack these open. I haven't gotten a new baby lips since my, uh, my pink one. It's been a really long time. Alright. What's this one? Coral Crush? I ripped the label off. Yep, Coral Crush. And then we have Yummy Plummy. Alright, so let's start with the Coral Crush. It's like this bright orange. This would be great for a baby lips versus color bomb video if I hadn't already done that. Because it's pretty much the same color as the orange color bomb. I don't remember the name of that one. So. Ooh, it smells really good. It kind of smells like. Like orange. It smells really good. And it really doesn't leave much of a tint. It's kind of just like a light orange, which I like because well, it's caught it. It's sort of like a coral color almost. Not quite. It's more of like a light orange, but I mean, on your lips it might look different. So I don't know. Also, I'm not wearing makeup right now, so that's why I look really bad. Um. So <laughs> next we have Yummy Plummy. This is kind of like a dark purple, light brown uh, sort of color. And that doesn't really leave too much of a tint, kind of like a cocoa color, like hot chocolate almost. Ooh, it smells really good though. It smells, I don't really know what a plum smells like, but it smells like what I'm assuming a plum smells like. So yeah. <laughs> So next, I'm going to show you some Pucker Pops that I got from Claire's. Um, how many Pucker Pops did I get? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven Pucker Pops. So let's get right into these. So first, I have this. I kind of got this one because it was really weird looking. It has like an egg on it, but it's peach flavored. I just thought it was really weird and random. Like, why an egg? Um, and it has, like, the rubber cover. It's a really glittery yellow. Ooh, it really does smell like peach, though. Ooh, that might be, like, one of the best smelling Pucker Pops I have. That smells really good. Um, so next I have this monster one in raspberry. This one kind of came open already, but I haven't tested it out or anything yet. So it was buy three, get three free. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got five lip balms and I got one little Pusheen coin purse. It's somewhere in my room. I didn't get it for the video though. So this one will not open. There we go. 
So this one's a rubber cover too. It's like a purple color. Ooh, smells kind of like fruit. Not really, what was it? Raspberry? It doesn't really smell like raspberry. It just smells like fruit, you know? Like, you know that fruit smell that's not like a specific fruit. It's just fruit. That's what it smells like. <laughs> so next, I have this blueberry one. And I just thought this one was so cute. It's blue and glittery and has little, like, gem headphones. So cute. I want to grow my Pucker Pop collection, which is why I got all these. So this one's so cute and so glittery. And there's a little, like, there's little glue on it, I think. Yeah, that's glue. Uh, that's okay. Just comes right off. Uh, so here it is. The eyes look a little, <laughs> like, lopsided. Like, this one looks higher than this one, but whatever. Um, this is just, this is the hard case. It's not rubber. And I really like this blue color. It has, like, some shine, but it's not glittery. Ooh. Okay, there we go. When I first smelled it, I was it's kind of smelled bad, but uh yeah, it does smell like blueberry, like artificial blueberry. Um so next or lastly, I guess I have this four pack of pucker pops. This comes with strawberry, pineapple, and two watermelon, which I thought was kind of weird, like at least make them different scents. I don't know. So open it up I had seen these before like one time but I didn't get them the first time because I figured I would see them again but I hadn't until now so let's get these out sorry if I seem really out of it I'm just so tired it's like 10 p.m. which usually is pretty early for me but I don't know tonight I'm probably going to bed a little bit earlier last night I was up until 2 a.m. editing so uh, so first we have this strawberry one which I think actually no that's not my favorite out of all of them I think this one is um, but this is my second favorite because I've never seen a strawberry pucker pop I have the pineapple one, which just has the stem, and I have the watermelon one, which has the glasses, but I don't have a strawberry one. So, ooh, okay, so it's like a sparkly, glittery red color. Ooh, that smells just like strawberries, not even, like, artificial. Like, it actually smells like strawberries, which is kind of weird, because usually the Pucker Pops are a little artificial, um, so next I have this adorable watermelon one with a little tutu. It's so cute. Ooh, so this one's green and glittery. Oh, it smells just like the watermelon Revo, which I do not like. Uh, let's try the other watermelon one just to see if, like, maybe it's a different color or something. It is. It's pink and glittery. The other one was green. But they have the same exact horrible scent. If you like watermelon scented or flavored things, you'll like these. But it is not for me. And finally, we have this adorable little pineapple one. So cute. Ooh, I love this color. It's like a light yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. And this is probably my favorite shade of yellow because it's just so pretty i could just stare at this all day and it has glitter in it i love it hmm oh my gosh it really smells like pineapple once you get pretty close wow and i had pineapple today pineapple is probably my favorite fruit and this smells just like it so I'm just going to continue with the Claire's theme. So I have these two Claire's brand lip balms. 
I have this little one that looks like ice cream, and I have this one that is apple cider donut scented, which I'm going to start with this one because I just love apple cider donuts. Um, around like Thanksgiving, we go to this place that's like, it's like an apple farm sort of place, and we get our pies for Thanksgiving, and we of course pick up a ton of apple cider donuts, so I'm hoping this smells just like that and reminds me of it. Because that would make me really happy. So, it's pink, which is weird. Not gonna lie. It's like a bright pink, which is kind of making me think it's not gonna smell like one. But, don't judge a lip balm, don't judge a lip balm by its color. But you can judge this one because it smells pretty bad. It smells like plastic mixed with cinnamon mixed with Chuck E. Cheese. If you've ever been to Chuck E. Cheese, you know that exact smell I'm talking about. It smells like that mixed with cinnamon mixed with plastic. So, um, yeah, kind of disappointed. I mean, the cinnamon's pretty good, but I mean, oh, and it's also a jumbo. Alright, so next we have this ice cream one, which is just so cute. It's so cute. Um, I don't know how you open this. Look how cute it is. It's like a little pink and green and chocolate. Ooh, okay, so it's it looks just like the pineapple pucker pop, sort of. It's a little bit of a darker yellow, um, but it has all that glitter. Ooh, smells just like vanilla, though. That smells so good. And I, um, if you're wondering why I'm smelling it and then swatching it and then smelling the swatch, it's because sometimes they have, like, a layer over them. I don't know. This is just what people in the comments have told me. They have, like, a layer over them, so if you don't smell it, like, originally, just put a swatch swatch it sorry i'm so scatterbrained right now just swatch it and then smell the swatch which is probably what i should do with this one because i didn't it smells the same so <laughs> it really smells like my exact description Chuck E. cheese cinnamon plastic okay so next at five below i found this three pack of chapsticks these are the Fruit Sensation ones. I have never seen these in a store before. Like, I knew they existed, but I didn't know I, if I would ever find them. $4. Uh, they say limited edition on the back. And let's see what the flavors are. Alright, so we have citrus jelly bean, grape to meet you, and pomegranate punch. I'm wondering if the grape to meet you is going to be the same scent or formula as the grape slurpee chapstick, but I'm not going to open this one and test it because this, along with this, and along with a bunch of other lip balms and a Claire's gift card is being saved for a giveaway. So I don't want to break the seal on that. So can't compare it. Maybe I'll do a comparison video. That'd be kind of cool. Um, so we, let's start with Citrus Jelly Bean. So it's kind of like a light orange color. Smells amazing. One of the best smelling chapsticks I've ever smelled. This smells legit like a jelly bean, like an orange jelly bean, which is what's on the wrapper on the top. That's exactly what it smells like. Exact spot on. So that's impressive. 
Uh, and next we have a pomegranate punch. Gabby's going in my closet. Gabby! <laughs> Ooh, this is a darker red than I expected. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just a dark red. Ooh, smells... Oh god, what does that smell exactly like? Oh my god, I don't know, but I don't know what a pomegranate smells like. Oh, it smells like fruit punch, that's why. Because <laughs> it's pomegranate punch, and it smells like fruit punch. Oh my gosh, it smells so good though. Wow, this might be one of my favorite chapstick sets of all time. And I can't get the cap on. There we go. Alright, and finally we have Grape to Meet You, which probably not going to like because I don't like Grape. Don't blow this. Don't blow this. This could be my favorite set of chapsticks. So don't blow this. It's like a really dark purple, very unappealing color. Uh... It's not too strong. Like, the Grape Revo is so strong that I, like, gag on it. But this one isn't really that strong. Um, I could deal with this. Like, I don't know. The other two are so good, I think I should give this one a break. So the final lip balm in this haul is actually a set that I got from Five Below today. This set is called the Taste Squad Flavored Lip Balm. I have been wanting this. I found this on Amazon originally for like $9, not including shipping. And thank God I didn't buy it because I was about to buy it. And then I'm like, uh, I'll just wait. But the flavors are so cool. It comes with rainbow ice cream, which that's probably my favorite one because the orange ice cream is throwing up a rainbow. Like, yes. Um... Frozen Raspberry Shake, Birthday Cake, Peanut Butter and Jelly, Milk and Cookies, Maple Bacon, Mac and Cheese, Key Lime Pie, and Pepperoni Pizza. It's kind of like a dupe for Picnic Pals, but I don't know. These packages are cuter, in my opinion, and there's more of them. Is there more of them? I think Picnic Pals has eight. And this one has nine. But the flavors are more unique on this one. Like the the good flavors. So let's open this. This was $5. I was so excited. It was the main reason I went to Five Below. Because a lovely fan sent me a DM of a video of them shopping at Five Below. And I saw this in the background. And I was like, oh my gosh, they have it there. I need it. So... Thank you. I don't remember your name, but thank you for inspiring me to go. And luckily they had it. So let's start with the good ones. And let's start with probably my favorite, which is Rainbow Ice Cream. They have the cutest little faces. I'm dying. Okay. And the part up here is clear, which I don't know. For some reason, I like that. <laughs> Um, hmm. Yeah, it smells like, uh, like rainbow sherbet. Should I swatch these? Um, a little color. A little bit, yeah. Hmm. Oh. See, now it really smells like orange, or like rainbow sherbet. I say orange because I used to eat orange sherbet all the time, but rainbow. So, this smells amazing. Next, we have Frozen Raspberry Shake. This one is a bright red. Mm, let me swatch this one first. That gives a really nice red color. This could be a replacement for like lip gloss, I feel like, if you're going for something really subtle. Mm, that one kind of smells like this one, like plastic, sort of. Uh, not in love with that one, but it's alright, it's alright. Uh, next we have birthday cake. I have high expectations for this one. Look how cute that little cake is. Love it. Okay, so this one's just white, so I'm obviously not going to swatch it, but... Oh, 
Yes. I could smell this all day. This smells just like cake. Oh my gosh. This is probably one of my favorite lip balms that I have in my entire collection. This. Oh my gosh, it smells just like cake. I'm going to end up bringing this around everywhere I go and it's going to be a disaster because I'm going to use it all up and I'm going to have to buy the entire set all over again. This is so good. Oh my gosh, it smells just like cake. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next we have peanut butter and jelly. Look how cute. I say that about every single one, but they're just so cute. And it's purple, which scares me because it reminds me of grape and peanut butter and jelly it could be grape jelly which is my favorite type of jelly but i don't know whoa that actually smells exactly like a peanut butter and jelly like you smell the peanut butter you smell the jelly it's combined you can like almost tasted it. it smells so realistic oh my gosh I'm actually living for this set right now uh, it doesn't really leave much of a color oh my gosh this set oh my gosh all right next we have milk and cookies this one is going to be good hopefully it's just a brown color uh, that one just smells like artificial chocolate. Not impressed. And it does leave a very dark brown color. Um, uh, my whole hand is filled with swatches now, but that's okay. Um, next we have maple bacon. Something about the maple part brings me comfort. Like, the other one in the Picnic Pals was just bacon, which scared me, but something about maple bacon just sounds more appealing than just bacon. I don't know. Um, so, it's red. I hate when they are, like, these red colors. Like, make it brown or something. Don't make it, like, a bright red. And it doesn't really leave much of a tint. Well, like, a little bit. It shows up better on camera. Hold up. This smells exactly like bacon, and it's not even bad. Like, I could smell this all day. This is good. Oh, my God. Guys, get this set. Seriously, get it. Probably one of the best lip balm sets I've ever gotten. All right, next we have mac and cheese. This one I'm a little more afraid of. Even though I love mac and cheese, it's like one of my favorite foods, this is just scaring me. It's like this like crusty yellow color. <laughs> um, it leaves like a crusty yellow tint, like ew, but... Okay, yep, that's bad. It kind of smells just like it, but it's bad. I don't really like the smell of mac and cheese anyway, so... Oops. All right, next we have key lime pie. I'm, like, really happy right now, though. Like, this set is so amazing. It's sort of like a neon green. Um, it leaves sort of like a light green tint. Almost like a neon yellow. Ooh. I don't really know what key lime pie is, but this smells delightful. Mmm. <laughs> really, like, tropical. I don't know. I like that one. And finally, we have pepperoni pizza. And pepperoni pizza is definitely probably the worst Picnic Pals one. Other than pickles. Pickles is really bad, too. I don't know, but this one is just scaring me. It, it only has a mustache. There's no cute faces or anything, which probably means, like, death, so. It's the same color as the bacon, which, I mean, the bacon one smelled pretty good, but I don't know, so let's swatch it first. Uh, it leaves, like, a pink. I know it doesn't really matter because who's putting this on their lips, but... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But out of this entire set, my favorite would have to be the birthday cake, but second favorite is definitely peanut butter and jelly because it smells so good. And maple bacon, as it goes flying out of my hand, that's got a solid third place. That smells great. Oh my gosh. How? How? Like the, um, the Picnic Pals bacon one just smells like vomit. And this one actually smells like bacon. Oh my god. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment below what you want to see next. And subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!